Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the series Creatures of the North. Last year, in the about first half of year 2020, the first coin, the Kraken that you see on the screen here, was released to the general public. Uh, it was a very well received uh, silver coin that started the series. And from my perspective, I loved every single details of that coin. Um, you know, like the, the mysteriousness, I think they really took it over the top. Um, I recognize that there are a lot of, you know, pirate ships, Kraken, octopus, giant octopus specific, specifically uh, used as design for silver coins all around the world. But I think the Royal Canadian Mint did a really, really good job of it uh, and allowing this to be the very first coin to kick off the series. So what does that mean? For at least for me, um, I wanted to collect every single coin that comes out of that series. So does this still mean that this is a, a bullion product? Yes, it is. But I think that there is going to be some numismatic value that ties to a coin like this. I think the premium, it will carry that premium for the next little while. So if you want to resell this, there's going to be a couple bucks that you can make on top of it. Um, all right, so the coin itself, fantastic. Uh, the artist, Gerald Glode, fantastic artist. If you looked up his profile, he's been with the Royal Canadian Mint for, I think since 2017. And he has designed a few coins sort of in between. And obviously I think the, the Kraken probably took the cake for his best work. Uh, Gerald Glode is a First Nation Millbrook artist, um, if I remember correctly. So he doesn't just design coins. Um, I think he works well with the Royal Canadian Mint engravers just to get his artwork on there. I think it looks phenomenal. The second coin, let's talk about the second coin because this morning when I woke up, I wasn't expecting this. I was, I was just scrolling through Reddit and to my surprise, the second coin has been released. Um, before we get there, I was going through Royal Canadian Mint's website this morning, going through their bullion products. There is nothing in there that talks about the second coin. The first coin was introduced in 2020, like I said before, uh, but nothing for the year 2021. Um, so if you were kind of disappointed about that, I was too. I've been waiting for a while now. I was hoping that it would have come out in the first half of the year. Obviously that didn't happen, uh, but still keep, keep a close eye on the Boolean product page. Uh, you know, I, I recognize that there's a, a lot of products that's listed in here. You don't actually see that in your local coin shop. Um, and that's kind of expected. Some of these are low mintage bullion products. Uh, and they, even if they do uh, get announced, they're probably going to get sold, sold out pretty quickly. Um, so anyways, long story short, I want to just kind of show you what it looks like on that second silver coin. So let's ho hop over to... Reddit. Uh, so on Reddit this morning, uh, under the silver bugs sub forum, so if you want to see it for yourself, uh, I will link in my description below. Uh, this is the second coin, the, of the creatures of the North, uh, the werewolf. So the other side, obviously we have queen herself, so nothing new there, but the werewolf is a significant art piece. Um, I chuckled there for a second. It's just because I'm sort of on the fence. I don't know if I love it, but at the same time, I certainly don't hate it. So let's put it that way. Uh, I'm still sort of digesting the information of what I see on the coin. A couple of things that I wanted just to share. The security feature uh, follows the same theme, same design as last year's uh, on the Kraken coin. So nothing new there. We have the uh, the fine lines that kind of surround the, the outer rim or the, yeah, the outer rim of the coin. Uh, and then we have that laser engraved micro text of 21 for the denomination of the year, or sorry, denoting the year 2021 of the release. Uh, we have the, obviously we have the werewolf as the centerpiece, his left arm, the werewolf's left arm is sort of reaching out to the viewer. Uh, so it makes the canvas really pop. Uh, at least the subject is trying to kind of reach out. So I think that was a really nice touch. The hind legs and the other arm sort of holding onto the ground here. Uh, it's over overstepping the edge of the canvas. So again, nice touch there to kind of show off 
the artwork that's about to come live. Um, on the background, we have the full moon uh, up in the sky. Um, cool thing here is it's just not a flat surface full moon. Uh, I'm sure if you put your finger on it, you could probably feel the texture of the moon. So that, that's also a very nice touch. On the background, we also have the forest behind the werewolf. I don't think that's very sharp looking, but again, this is a Boolean, this is a Boolean product. So I don't expect super sharp details everywhere along the, along the surface of the coin, but I think they did it just fine. Uh, Gerald Glode is also the artist for this piece. Kudos to him. I think it's also uh, a design that's very well done. Again, I'm not a I'm not a, a critic for the design, but this is just sort of, sort of just what I see on the coin itself. Uh, we can actually zoom in a little if you want to see it. Um, the it's a bit blurry, so I guess you can see that the the watermark here shows BGASC. It's actually an online dealer out of uh, West Coast in the U.S. in California. Um, they actually have this coin up for sale. So if you are for sale. Uh, actually slash pre-ordering it's not necessarily ready for delivery just yet but if you want to order something for yourself go onto that side go ahead go nuts and if you do receive early come back to my video leave a comment let me know how you how how it feels in your hand a two ouncer is definitely a bit of a hefty piece um so i think that would add that great feel to your hand and you know, once you have this in your hand, take a close look at the coin. Let me know how that how that looks and compare it to the Kraken from the from the very first coin. I think I think anyone that gets their hand on this is not gonna get disappointed. I think this is a good piece. Um, and I hope that it is also a very well received as a second coin in the series. Just like a good franchise for a movie. Usually the first movie is outstanding and the second and the third doesn't really go that well. But I'm really hoping that's not the case here. The werewolf is a special piece, and I hope that it comes out soon, at least for public uh, purchases in up here in Canada. Um, and I for sure will get my hands on this. And once I do, I will make another video about this. So tell me what you think about this coin in the comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really love it, please consider subscribing to my video if you haven't already. Anyways, that's about it. So I hope you liked the video. I'll see you around. Cheers. Bye.